When Senator Sommer Brook returns to Albany, she'll have a special constituent in mind. Her name is Leah. Brook, the first black woman to represent New York's 55th district in the state Senate, is now a new mom. And she wants other moms to have access to the positive birthing experience she had earlier this year. Phyllis is my doula. <laughs> um, she was my birth doula. Um, and, you know, that means she really was there to give emotional, physical, informational support as a doula through the pre-birth process of planning the birth process, and even postpartum. They explain how they met. Her husband tracked me down, actually. We relied on Phyllis a lot. We had a four-hour Zoom class where my husband and I sat on the couch and really listened to Phyllis walk us through all this terminology that most people don't know on you know in their normal vernacular mm -hmm. we learned what an apgar score was or episiotomy sharp has helped moms deliver hundreds of healthy babies in the rochester area she's a trusted resource a mentor and an advocate for pregnant people and their partners they make their own plan i call it birth wishes instead of birth planning because we wish for things we don't know what's going to happen for far too many black families their wishes and plans turn into a nightmare in New York, black women are four times more likely to die in childbirth. Brooke says she's one of the biggest advocates for doulas in this state. In addition to anecdotal evidence, I have the data that shows that having a doula by your side through this process is one of the top ways to actually address the discrepancies we see in maternal mortality rates. Senator Brooke is sponsoring legislation that would first establish a work group to study the impact doulas have on decreasing infant and maternal mortality rates. The end goal, she says, is for the state to reimburse Medicaid for doula services so all women have access to this type of health care. But if we don't set up a system in which finances and paying for a doula is no longer a barrier, then we're never going to reach the people who need this the most.